I press the button here once, there you go, scene's been initiated. And if I double click it, there you go, another scene, and that's alternating between the colors. And if I long press it, Lights turned off, I'll let go, and there you go, lights have turned white. Hi so guys, today we're taking a look at a smart switch. So this particular one is a Zigbee-based product. It works on the Tuya platform, so both the Tuya app and the Smart Life app. I'll include links in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So I've been after a switch like this for quite a while now. So the idea behind it is you've got a switch which literally you can program to do whatever you want. So there's four variants of this. So you've got a single button, double button, a triple button, and four button switch. And the fact it's Zigbee based, it's got a long range on there and it's not constantly communicating with the device. You're only activating it when you press the button itself. So now coming over here on the packaging, just highlights the thickness of the switches, 1.3 centimeters, shows the battery it takes, and the estimating life is 730 days on the battery. Now obviously that depends on how often you're pressing the buttons. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. The packaging comes with two sticky strips, so that's used to fix the device onto a wall if you wanted to, and you also got an instruction manual in English and Chinese. Coming onto the switch, it's a one gang size, so the size of a one gang light switch, and in terms of thickness, I've already mentioned, it's 1.3 centimeters. As you can see, it's all white all over here, and on the back, you've got gray design on there, and coming in close there, you can see obviously the buttons. In terms of clicking, you can't press at the top. You've got to click down below here and just to show you the clicking noise on there. All plasticky in design. You've got LEDs at the bottom. Obviously that will indicate when the button's been pressed. You've got three press options on here. You've got single click, double click and long click. So three options per button on there. Now coming around the side here, just to show there's nothing all the way around there. And there's a slight area here. So you've got to pull it across to open it up, to put the battery in. Now looking at the back, it just highlights it's a Zigbee based product and the fact it takes the following battery. So CR2430. Highlights it's for indoor use only. So you wouldn't really stick this outside. And to open it up, it just highlights there. You just push across. So if I hold onto it and push, there you go, it's opened up. Looking in there, that's what you're presented with. Battery locations there. I haven't got the exact battery for this, but I have got one of these. So it's a 2032. And if I slot that in, that fits in nicely into that. If I press the button, there you go. You can see the green light coming on. So that battery works fine in here as well. Let's put the cover back on, put it on like so, and then push it along and it locks into position. And there are the two locations you can stick it. There's no holes on here. So I would have thought it'd be nice if they had some holes for, for wall mounting it permanently. But I guess they're going for more of a remote type of situation here. So like if you've got a remote control. What would have been cool actually with this, if they hadn't have had the battery in there and just gone for a kinetic switch, meaning every time you press the button, it generates a bit of energy and just keeps the light switch going so you never have to put a battery in there. That would have been an amazing product. But general build quality is fine and it's nice it has an LED indicating when the button's been pressed so you know something's happening and if it has run out of battery obviously the light won't come on. So let's make a start at setting up this device. So I mentioned at the start this is a two-year based product so you can use the two-year app or Smart Life app and it's as simple as going to the Play Store. There's the app there. I use Smart Life for my smart tech. Installing it, signing up with an account and away you go. So if I open this up, that's what you'll be presented with. Obviously you're seeing all the devices I have and obviously I've got quite a few. If you're using this for a first time, it will just be an empty list there. Now, one thing to note about the product, it's a Zigbee based product. So you need a Zigbee hub for this. So Zemi Smart do do a Zigbee hub, which I've previously reviewed. I'll include a card in the corner together with details in the description, including purchasing links for it. I've been using it for a while. I haven't had any problems. Retails around 30 pounds. So much cheaper than say for instance, the Philips Hue bridge or even a smart things hub. So now I've got my hub located in my living room. If I put it there and the hub's just over here, it's referred to as smart gateway. So if I click on that, so to add this in, if I click on add sub device, need to get the device in a blinking mode to say it's gonna accept a config on there. So all I need to do is hold on to the corner button here for around 10 seconds. 
and then the lights should all start blinking in a moment and there you go all four lights here are blinking green now if i click the button here let's give it a moment and there you go it's found it as quick as that done to that you can rename it here if you wanted to i'll click done and there you go it's available there now if i come out of this for a moment and I go across to all devices. Obviously looking at the top, you can see there, I've got different rooms here I've set up. So if you don't set up rooms, it will just appear in all devices. Now clicking here, you can see it there. That's what the interface presents you with and you can program each button from here. So before we do that, let's quickly look in settings. So looking in here, you can rename the device. You can get the device information, so the ID for the Zigbee device. Tap to run an automation, so any automation you've set up with this device can be visible with this. If it goes offline, you'll get a notification. It's a bit surprised about that option. I think it's just a general one that's in there because how would it go offline because it's not constantly connected. It's only really active when you click the button. Next one you've got is share device, so you can share it with other people. Create a group so you can group multiple devices together. And then the standard stuff like FAQ and feedback, add to home screen, device update for firmware updates. And then you can remove it from here. Coming back, looking at the top, you've got a battery indicator just over here. And then if I scroll along, you can see each of the button points there. So each one is unique and you can program each one to do whatever you want it to do. Now, coming on to the first one, if I click add program and when condition is met, so the condition I can do, I've got three options as I've already mentioned. So you've got a single click, double click and a long press on here. So if I do single click, it's a task. So this is where all the clever stuff can start. So you can add in all sorts of automation for turning on different devices, changing brightness levels, changing colors, going to different scenes. So all sorts of things. So now for this, I'll do something simplistic first. So if I click on the plus device and scrolling down, studio light switch, if I go on there, switch to, so we'll go for on and off. And this is like a toggle option. So whatever state it's in, it will go for the opposite when you click the button. So if I click confirm to that, and just to highlight, not all switches have that option. So it's quite nice to see that option available. Click sure to that, and there you go, conditions have been met. And I can give it a name. I'll call it lights and save to that, save again. And there you go, conditions set up. Now with this, what this now means, if I press the button, the lights in my studio will turn on. Now I've moved the cameras around so you can see the existing light switch I've got here. So I'll include a card in the corner if you're interested in that one and I'll include details in the description too. So this is a Zigbee based light switch as well. So now bringing the light switch over here so you can see it. Now I've got the other camera pointing to the lights above. So now if I press the button here, you can see the light come on. You can see the light change over there and you can see the lights come on on the ceiling. So how cool is that? Now that's just one command I've put in. I've not done anything more. And if I press it again, there you go. Toggles between the colors over there. So when it's on red, it's on. And when it's blue, it's off. And again, you get the indication when you press the button here. It's really useful functionality to have. So you can program the remote to do anything which integrates with the smart life side of things. So if you had other devices, you can get other things controlled off this as well. So that was quite a basic bit of automation. Let's move on to something a little bit more advanced. Now, if I come onto button three here, we go to add program. First thing I wanna show, if I go to task, you've only got a few options here. So launch, tap to run, enable or disable automation and device. There's no option for group. Now, if you look at the lights I've got in the ceiling, they're actually Wi-Fi bulbs. So it'd be good to add them into a group and control them all at the same time to perform an action. For instance, to change the color or dim them down or brighten them up. So that is possible, but you've got to be a bit more clever about this. If I come back, so what I've done, I've created a group with all the studio bulbs in there just to show. So there you go, there's all the bulbs grouped together. Now coming back from here, if I go into smart, I've created three tap to run automations here. So if I come into the first one and I've taken the group and all I've done is change the color mode to white. And for the other two, I've just changed the scenes. So it's gone to scene four in that one and scene one in this one. Now coming back from here, going back into the smart button, going to button three. Now coming in here, you can see at the bottom, single click just indicated there. It will perform a scene at the top. You've got another scene being performed on double click. And then if you long press, it will go all to white again. So now if I press the button here once, there you go, scene's been initiated. And if I double click it, 
There you go, another scene, and that's alternating between the colors. And if I long press it, now what you'll notice here on the long press, the green light will come on, it will stay on if you hold on to it. And once the green light's turned off, the long press is over with, so you can let go. So it's about four seconds, I'd say you have to hold on to it. So if I hold on to it now, Lights turned off, I'll let go, and there you go, lights have turned white. So how cool is that? So you can set up your own sort of smart rules within this and get it changing accordingly. I think it's really clever how it works. And on top of that, if I now come to button one, button two, you can see there's nothing in there. Now, if I come back from here again, go to smart and automation, I've got two automations set up here. And what these automations are doing, they're actually taking all these bulbs in the ceiling and changing the brightness levels. So if I now press the button here, you can see the brightness coming down. How cool is that? I didn't even have to program it at the bottom. Literally just set up an automation rule that every time that's clicked, brightness gets taken down and it's dimmed down every time you click it. Now that's the minimum it will go to. And if I click here, it brightens up again. It's a really cool bit of functionality with this. You can sort of integrate it with all sorts of smart tech. And the advantage here is you can make up your own rules with this. And again, you don't have to go into the app. And this is the sort of functionality I've been after for a while. I don't want to constantly go into the app. I don't want to call out to the Amazon device or the Google device for a voice control to initiate an action. So this is ideal for that. So there you go, I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing a smart switch. I was really impressed with it, even price-wise, it comes in about £20 in the UK, and you've seen for yourself, you can customise it really easily. The only negative I can make about this, really, they should have gone next level with this and really put in kinetic energy buttons on there, so there's no battery required. That would have been an absolutely amazing switch. And I love the fact you can program it to whatever you want, and you've got three actions per button on there. I think the functionality you get on this is absolutely awesome. I'll include details in the description below, including purchasing links. Hang around for the end cards because I'll have a playlist with more smart tech. Drop me a like if you've liked this video because it really helps out the channel. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.